Hi, my name is Will White, Solar Application Specialist at Fluke, and we're here to talk about testing solar modules with a digital multimeter. We most frequently test modules at commissioning when we're starting up the system, making sure that the voltage and polarity are correct. Uh, we can also do current measurements while the system is operating. Before we do any testing, it's really important to make sure that we're paying attention to safety, wearing the proper personal protective equipment. We can't de-energize our solar modules as long as they're in the sun, so we need to ensure that we're wearing things like electrically insulated gloves, arc flash face shields and balaclavas, fire resistant clothing, and additional safety equipment if necessary. Fluke has a whole line of digital multimeters that are capable of testing in the solar industry, depending on what type of system you're working on. Everything from 600 volt residential systems, 1000 volt commercial industrial systems, and up to 1500 volts in utility scale systems. The 283 FC multimeter is our category three, 1,500 volt, category four, 1,000 volt digital multimeter, which is an excellent choice for testing those high voltage utility scale systems, both on the DC side and the AC side where our outputs may be up to 800 volts or even higher. Before we do any testing, we want to de-energize our circuits so that there's no current flowing through the circuit. Then we'll typically do open circuit voltage testing to ensure that we have the proper voltage. Before we do the testing, we need to know what to expect. So we need to know the open circuit voltage of the individual module and how many modules we have in series. Then we can calculate the open circuit voltage for the string of modules. Once we start doing testing, we want to ensure that the voltage of our string is pretty close to what we expect. If there are any variances, it could be caused by miswired strings where we have too many modules in one string and not enough modules in another string, or we may have bad bypass diodes if we're doing operating voltage measurements, which would indicate that a section of the module isn't producing voltage. When we're doing current measurements, we can use the current clamp uh, with the 283 FC multimeter. We have a 60 amp wireless current clamp, so we can measure up to 60 amps in those circuits. For measuring higher current, we can use clamp meters like the 393 FC, which can measure up to 999.9 .9 amps. So for those higher current circuits. It's important to test voltage to ensure that our system is operating properly. We want to make sure that the system is producing the maximum amount of power and energy that it's capable of producing so that we get a financial return on our investment. For more information, check out fluke.com and see the full line of multimeters, clamp meters, and other tools that are used in the solar industry. Thank you very much.